Welcome back to another exciting episode of Mr. Graham. Homework help, you get homework help, part two. So we're still on the same night uh, because you had uh, four pages to do. So now you should be on page 154 and 155. On 154, you should see something like this. You can use models to help add mixed numbers. The picture shows the boxes of markers. One box and five-eighths box plus one box and six-eighths box. Well, what you do is you start adding all those pieces together. Notice how uh, this is dark right here. These are the dark shades, and these are like a light shade. And then down below, they start putting uh, pieces from the incomplete box in to the complete box. So three of these end up going inside of there. See? See how three of those light boxes got filled it into the blank spot? And then since three of those went over there, since, since uh, one, two, and three all went over there, that means there's only three left. See? Three left. But now since these are all shaded in, like down here, look, they're shaded in. That means you've got one, two, three, three full boxes. And then how much left over? Uh, just one, two, one, two, three. Didn't mean to make that mark right there. Three out of eight. Why is it out of eight? Because that's how many uh, spaces there are in the box. Three out of eight. So the answer is three and three eighths. So what we're saying here is that you can use a model to help you add the stuff. And there's no shame in it. You should use the model if you can. You don't really have to do much if the box is already full. If the box is already full, then hooray, it's obvious. But if the box isn't full, you should take some pieces from one box to fill up the other and make it a full box. Then you just have your your leftover at the end, and that's not a big deal. So the answer is three, and the leftover, three eighths. That's that's all. We're just we're just looking at that page. What is the sum? of just the whole number parts of the mixed numbers. That was from the problem we just looked at. So what is the sum of only the whole numbers? Remember, whole numbers are not fractions. They're regular like full numbers. So what's just the whole number part? That would be the 3, right? So let's write that. What is the sum of just the fraction part of the mixed number? So the whole thing is the mixed number, but what's the fraction part of the mixed number? That's that part right there. That's the, the 3 eighths. So let's write that. They just want to make sure you know that there's a whole part, the 3, and there's a fraction part, the 3 eighths. How many holes are in 11 eighths? And how many eighths are left over? Complete the number sentence below. I think the easiest way to solve this is with a um, is with a, uh, uh, a picture of some kind, you know. Uh, and one picture you could draw is a little uh, fraction model. And you always know you're doing it right if 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 the bottom number, the denominator is how many pieces are in the model. So that bottom number is an 8. So I have to create a model that has 8 pieces, which I just did. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, it says that I need 11 out of 8. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh-oh, uh, I'm out of space, but I have to go to 11, don't I? So let's just, let's just make three more, 9, 10, 11, one more time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
9, 10, 11. And as you can see, some fit inside of our model and some did not fit inside of our model. How many did not fit inside of our model? We'll take a look. One, two, and three. That's how much left over you have, and that's what fraction remains. Not three by itself, but three eighths. Why three eighths? Because that's the denominator we've been working with. And that's why I circled it, because it's so important to remember. So three eighths is the fraction we have left over. What does that make this, this uh, eight eighths? See this part right here, the, the model? That has eight out of eight pieces shaded in. Well, what is it when you have eight out of eight? Eight out of eight is actually, come on, clever kids, you should know that eight out of eight is one whole. So think about it. Eight out of eight is one whole, and these three left over are three eighths. Eight out of eight is one whole, the leftover is 3 eighths. So what is 11 eighths? 11 eighths is all of that put together. 11 eighths is one whole, right? The one whole. And plus, it's the leftover, it's the 3 eighths also. Now add the whole boxes of the sub. Add the whole boxes to the sum of the fractions of boxes. So all they're saying is, you take your, they're talking about the original problem. They're talking about all the holes and then the fractions at the end. What do you get? You get 2 plus 1, which is 3. No problem, you can do 2 plus 1. And then what do I do with the fraction, Mr. Graham? Go ahead and add that too. So it's 3 and... 3 eighths. Explain how you add mixed numbers. Well, let's make it simple. Let's make it simple for ourselves, shall we? First, you really, you know what? Let's, let's, you really, you really what? You really need to add the whole numbers. Like 2 plus 1 equals 3. Duh, though, right? Duh. Then, you need to add the fraction. If you put it all together, you will get the correct mixed, not, no, 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 not Ms. Mixed, no, why I keep pressing the Z? Mixed number. There you go. Dun, 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 dun. I know you can't always write as fast as I can type, but um, go ahead and pause the video if you need to. Take a look at what we wrote. Think about everything we talked today. If you understand, listen, if you understand this page of homework, if you can do it, then you can do everything with mixed numbers. Seriously. So, you know, double check this video if you need to. But if you get this, then you're going to be okay. All right, guys, that's all the homework we have for tonight. I know it seemed like a lot, but hey, winter break is coming up. Work hard for just a few more days, and then you're free. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.